doing a transmission fluid change I'm using this fluid and that pump Keep cutting myself. Still a little bit left, that bottle. Pump it, pump it. Now I'm changing the defoil. We got this catch container. Let's see what color it is. There is not a lot of it too. So uncomfortable. So it's supposed to be 75.9 synthetic. Since I changed the transmission one, I have extra and I have a regular one. So I'll just mix them Royal Purple Gear Max with a regular synthetic uh, Valvoline or something. And of course it's a mess. Love working with fluids, especially when they rain on your hair and face. In your face, of course. You know, I have enough strength to strip the threads, so I'm not gonna push. This is my problem every time I work with something like that. So we start with this. Okay, how convenient this subframe support is. This is awesome look for the hose. So I guess this goes all the way in. We start pumping. It's a good idea to pump like this. 
Here we go. It floats. Floats. Fuck. As always. There is a lake under this car now. Problem with this pump is it's leaking already. <sighs> but to end this. It was a half a bottle, so whatever is left here is going in the diff, and whatever is left at, from the purple, from royal purple gear max is also going in here. Now we're putting put in this. And the rest of the whatever was left in that bottle. As you can see, it's purple. I mean, it should work for the diff, it's just more expensive than a regular diff fluid. Should work fine. this way until it starts coming out come on there's a lot of fluid gets in there way more than it drained So it's coming out. Unplug it. Okay. So deep. Is full. Today I changed diff fluid, transmission fluid, pumped the clutch pedal. So now it actually feels like a clutch, I think. Here we go. Well, 
full brakes are understood. can feel the power steering with fluids since I'm not really taking it off obviously I can't feel it all the way because you need engine running to pump it through but I can try to do what I can while it's sitting here it will drain because gravity system works Dexron 5 it doesn't matter what brand is this STP actually this one costs no no less or even more I think than Castrol yeah here we go Okay, also I missed one part is this this right here I need to make sure I follow because I'm keeping the existing harness from MS 45 and I need to repin it to MS 43 and as you can see for example this is MS 45 right um, one ignition coil five number two not used if we look here We see one used, two not used, three not used, four, coil three, five, ground point six, ignition coil one, seven, ignition coil two, eight, ignition coil four, and nine, ignition coil six but on MS 43 one is ignition coil 3 so I need to take the pin 4 and put to pin 1 right here and that's what I'm gonna do um, I guess that's what I'm gonna have to do uh, yes, this this is the wire to pin 23 Which is on this side and uh, As you can see there is this diagram you can take a look pause it If you want it shows everything here uh, Some paperwork I brought with me so let's me let's make sure I'm doing this right now obviously This isn't uh, MS-43, so I have to follow this list right here. So right now, removed pin 1, pin 1, right? So let's see. Uh, on pin 1, it's ignition coil 5. On MS-43, it should go to pin number 8. So the way I'm unpinning this, I'm just inserting these rods in these holes, right? I push and I pull by the other side okay I finished repinning this uh, it's very uh, confusing but actually number 9 went to pin 7 number 9 was black and purple black and purple let's see let's let's check ourselves so let's find the black and purple here which is this one and it went to seven right seven so the way i work at this uh, is that uh, this box right here mentally thinking is what i have right now 
this box is what I want it to be so this is a box to me right so right now it's repinned as you can see uh, it's sort of like one two three one in the middle so the middle one is the ground and uh, they are all numbered let's see if we can if I can focus okay so seven eight nine one two three so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine that's how it works uh, printed this out and I started drawing diagram from uh, pin one and where does pin one on my own existing one goes so pin one on here right pin one suppose two which is for coil five go to a coil five right where is coil five here coil five here is on pin eight so therefore pin one supposed to go to eight and here we go you can see this error one two and two eight here we go right makes sense i also wrote the color of the wire so it's green all right so now pin two not used pin three not used all right where does pin four go pin four goes to pin one and it is black and yellow pin five ground all right because it's the same as here and here i don't worry about it so pin six active ignition coil number one so where does the coil one go all right so let's see coil one is uh, number three therefore pin six has to go to number three and number three is black and white so exactly this way i have solved the repin issue and i can keep this hardness let's see if that works i'm not sure i actually hope with all my <coughs> hopes and dreams that it's actually gonna work but i'm not sure there could be some difficulties i'm so tired uh, this is not um, difficult as far as physical work but actually is very mental one more look at this is that you basically take this box into this box you transfer one two three four five six into this as it's shown here very easy actually if you follow the thought as long as you start with one or two it doesn't matter so two and three is not used uh, four uh, so four for me was like two look I started writing numbers here one means I started here two means I continued and three I continued so I can double check myself also I can double check myself by the colors so let's say I find the blue and red blue and red on the let's say I lost myself let's say I completely lost my thought while doing this i forgot everything or i continued the next day so let's say i found uh black and red uh, and uh, for me to troubleshoot this will be two options number one look at where the black and red is if it's still here uh, then it's supposed to be at pin number eight if it's not at pin number eight it's supposed to be at pin number two if it's not in, at pin number two therefore it should be disconnected or i should correct it so that's why i wrote the colors and that's actually how i was able to backtrack and check myself against these numbers so there are two things going on number one uh, numbers and number two colors uh, to see where each one corresponds to another productive day today 
I installed all two sensors, I fixed the wiring so that it goes right. Um, finished doing the clutch electrical, uh, connected all of that, connected all of the wires here and installed the boot. For now it's not tightened, it's just there. Um, obviously this connector right there goes here. Yeah. Uh, there are some questions like vacuum lines still I don't know where exactly they go uh, obviously the uh, cooling system is just not here uh, there's still a lot to do very much so a lot but slowly but surely I'm closer to the finish of the project. And it's raining, raining again. Just installed new hose that I needed to buy last week, finally. That is not gonna leak anymore power steering one um, hopefully now I can fill this up see where else is leaking because I bet it has to leak somewhere as always things leak in this car which is bizarre For some reason always not gonna be enough but still whatever so hot Quick update, so the actual mount for the transmission does not fit because it's from Z3 again. So nothing fits, I have to order a new mount. Also the radiator for automatic does not fit because there is a plug that needs to be cured. There is no radiator here, but anyways. So today I actually installed the power steering hoses back. I I installed the shifter linkage uh, now it fits because I ordered new brand new everything and uh, at this point I can't really do anything for a couple of weeks because I need to order parts and that's it that's that that's the car will sit there's no drive shaft either there's no oil in the motor and there is no coolant it's so hot in here that not even the lens in the camera is able to focus so as you can see clutch works I feel it feels nice like now I'm resting foot and now I'll press it all the way in so now it's neutral right first then second third fourth fifth neutral fourth third 
second first oh, that's reverse as of now the cooling system is fully installed power steering fully installed uh, injectors fully installed coils fully installed wiring fully done the only thing I'm missing is a MAF sensor here I'm missing it and I'm also missing something else here that's about it uh, engine mounts gotta be tightened drive shaft is missing and uh, the bracket for the as you can see this